Hi, Ian from As Is here. And in our last video, we discussed an overview of labelradar.com and submitted our new track, Self Destruct, to multiple outlets. In today's video, I'll be going over those results and overall impressions of the site. So if you watched the previous video, you'll probably recall that we went through the submission process on Label Radar for our new song, Self Destruct. And in that, we submitted to four different outlets. So now we can check in under My Tracks and we can go to Sent to Promoters. And we can view Self Destruct. And you'll see here we sent to four different outlets. Now, with this, we are testing the pro membership of Label Radar. And one of the perks of that pro membership is called Skip the Queue. So basically, what that does is it filters the submissions, and there's a free submissions that kind of just go in to the promoters or the labels inbox and those just kind of go below that pro level submission that allows you to skip through all those pre submissions but as you can see here we did get one submission reviewed by dubstep bear music and that was actually promoted which is great and i'll show you that process here in just a second and then we sent to three other outlets that was sent on the uh august 11th so that's, today is August 29th, so that's about, what, two and a half weeks out, and we still haven't heard from these three. What happens when you do get a notification of a promoter or a label listening to your track? You can see here, so 18 days ago, Dubstep Bear Music has listened to the clip of Self Destruct, so remember that's the 20 second clip that you choose, and then... They want to start a conversation with you, so then that process goes into, and I can show you those messages basically, hey, you know, I'd like to promote this on my YouTube channel or whatnot or whatever outlet they're using. It is nice after you've been approved by the promoter that you can make the final say that, yes, I would like to confirm to be promoted on this network. Then you get a notification when the outlet submits your track for promotion. For instance, this outlet, Dubstep Bear Music, scheduled it a few weeks ahead on YouTube for promotion and then sent me a message about that, which was great. I'm on the message section now of Label Radar to kind of show you what a conversation with a promoter would look like on the site. And you can see they started the conversation off with giving us a date that they would like to promote the song on, which worked great because that worked for our release schedule since the song would be already out and then asked for our links to socials and then I asked what kind of file they would like and then you can actually upload an mp3 or a WAV file on label radar for them you don't have to even send it through email so that's really helpful convenient and obviously this is only one promoter but it was a very smooth and easy conversation to get that track promoted so to wrap up some of the overall thoughts on Label Radar and this campaign for us, it was definitely a nice thing to get promoted and to have one of the outlets that we submitted to to pick up our song. And, you know, it was a small YouTube channel, but that would help kind of spread our song to a new and different audience that we might not have been able to reach with uh, ads or just our organic social media. Now, for us, three out of the four that we submitted to did not respond. So after two and a half weeks, that's kind of defeats the purpose of what that pro plan offers to get to you to skip the queue. Now that's just an R case of submitting and that's not gonna probably be the case for every outlet and every genre and every artist. So I wouldn't necessarily let that deter you but I would say that that is something to keep in mind that it might not be a smooth uh, response and they might not get back to you within a couple days. It might take weeks. So that's important to remember too. For us, that kind of has made it so that the pro plan moving forward is not necessarily worth it. So is the pro plan worth it for you? And that's going to really depend on what you're looking to do. If you're looking for a specific outlet to submit to that may be hard to get into contact with via email or any other social media site, this might be a really good tool for you if there's a specific record label or promoter that you're looking to pitch to.
this might be the best way to get to a submission in their inbox. Also, if you're looking to submit to labels and to promoters, that will help you use those 70 credits a month a little bit easier. For us, we found it hard because there weren't many dubstep related submissions available. Moving forward, our strategy will still be to use label radar, but not in the extent most likely of a pro plan. It's definitely a good tool to have in your promotional tool bag. And just so you know, this video is not sponsored, but we do have an affiliate link in the description if you're interested in signing up. Now, if you want to see the first video in this series, click over here. And thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.